I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Attention comedy musicians and comedy music fans! The Logan Awards are taking open nominations for Outstanding Comedy Songs and Videos released last year for this year's awards. Did you release a comedy song or comedy music video in 2023? Or have a favorite one of those that was released then? Then nominated for the Logan Awards today. The Logan Awards are essentially the Comedy Music Awards, because the Grammys don't even acknowledge us or shove us in with spoken word. They are sponsored annually by the Funny Music Project and are presented in three categories. Outstanding Original Comedy Song, Outstanding Parody Song, and Outstanding Comedy Music Video. If you have a comedy song that was released in 2023 that you'd like to nominate for 2024's awards, head to loganawards.com and click the nominations tab at the top. There is a minimum and maximum of five nominations per person. Hurry, nominations close this year on July 31st. For more details about Logan himself, the awards, and more, check out loganawards.com. Help us commemorate this year's best comedy songs and music videos with a trophy, the way they do with every other form of entertainment. But if you want your favorites to win, you have to nominate them by July 31st. Get your nominations in now at loganawards.com, brought to you by thefump.com. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to a special episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian. I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician, because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why this time I am reacting to the brand new Weird Al Yankovic song, Polkarama. If this is your first time joining us, yes... I am a comedy musician. I react exclusively to comedy music because that is where my field of expertise lies. What this means for you is that I'm going to pause the video. Kind of a lot, actually. This way I'm not talking over or laughing over the jokes in the song. I can discuss how the lyrics and the video work in tandem to help enhance the jokes. Sometimes I'm even, you know, explaining the jokes because that's always fun for people. And sometimes I'm just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If you do enjoy that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, all of that out of the way. Let us dive into today's video. This song just came out a few hours ago. Uh, this is a new Weird Al polka. Uh, it is not your, a traditional Weird Al song in that it is uh, d best technically a cover song. This is Al covering other songs only set to a polka style of music rather than the song's original styles. He's done this on practically every album. There's only two albums of Al's that exist that do not contain a polka. The first self-titled album and uh, even worse, does not have a polka on it either. Although there is accordion on both of those albums. Self-titled album contains accordion through on every song, and uh, even worse contains accordion on the song Lasagna, a parody of the Los Lobos covers of uh, La Bamba for the movie La Bamba. Um, I am, of course, wearing the Weird Al Yankovic in 3D shirt because this year is the 40th anniversary of in 3D. Uh, and uh, this is the first Weird Al single in quite a while. Um, this week is the 10-year anniversary of the release of Al's last album, Mandatory Fun. Uh, he did release a new single... Uh, actually, he released a polka shortly after that, the Hamilton polka, um, which is songs from the Hamilton musical done polka style. Um, and that was his first single he released after his record contract ended. Mandatory Fun was his last contractually obligated album. That's why it's called Mandatory Fun. Uh, and he's not doing an album structure anymore. He's just releasing singles when the mood strikes him. Uh, Hamilton Polka, well, Polka was the first of those. Uh, he released uh, two, th two or three years ago. I forget when it came out. I think it was 2022. Um, when Weird the Al Yankovic movie came out, there was a soundtrack for that, and new song, Now You Know, is in the end credits. We've reacted to that here before. Um, if I remember, although there'll be a card to it, at least there'll be a link to it at the end of the video. Um, but anyway, um, we just reacted to his uh, collaboration with the Gregory Brothers uh, a couple days ago. It might have been last week. 
um, depending on when this video comes out, uh, for the, the debate song, Deja Vu But Worse. And now we have a new polka. Now, I kind of know some of the songs in this one already. It's been in the cover image, so I, I know we're at least getting Billie Eilish's bad guy, uh, Eilish. Uh, but also, I know it was a song that's supposed to be in this, but isn't. Well, was planned to be in this. Um, already they they released uh, the lyrics for it on Apple Music when you listen to the song, and there are lyrics for a song that are not in the medley. Scissors Kill Bill apparently was planned to be part of this, but not. Now, I don't know if that means they recorded it and had to cut it out. Uh, an article came out uh, just this morning that said uh, Al is still waiting for a phone call back from SZA, so uh, they may have recorded it and excised it because they never got the permission to include it, or they just recorded it without including it. Um, I, some people have probably rightly uh, guessed that because Al is going on tour next year, they wanted a new polka medley and figured, hey, we may as well just record it too. Uh, so this is a new polka medley. This is of the last decade of pop music since Mandatory Fun's release. So let's, that's enough yammering from me. Let's dive into the video. <laughs> a cow on the moon. And it looks like Al's going with uh, uh, animation. I think a mix of animation and live action, uh, according to the thumbnail for this video anyway. This song is listed as the Helena Polka, but Al's version. So there's probably going to be some tea swizzle up in here. So you're a tough guy, like it really rough guy. <laughs> I I love Al's polka renditions of pop songs. They're just so on point. Everything is funnier, everything is better when done with an oompa polka band. It's just so good. Um, and also, I love this animation style. Apparently, I think it's a different animator or, or live action sequence or whatever for each song. Uh, this is what he did with the last polka medley uh, from the album, Mandatory Fun. Um, I think that one's called Polka Your Eyes Out. What, what, no, Polkarama. There's so many polka names I can't remember. Uh, mandatory fun polka is... Oh, come on. Uh, well, this is Polka Mania. What's, what's mandatory fun polka? Look at this. I'm live Googling here. Um, uh, track listing. Uh, now that's what I call polka. That was that one. Now that's what I... Yeah, that's a great name. Uh, that would be a great name for an Al compilation of all the polkas. Eh. Anyway, uh, Polka Mania, this is fantastic. Already. Bad guy from Billie Eilish. Um, looking like the video, but I animated. And just slamming that guy around. Great stuff. I'm the bad guy! <laughs> I <laughs> was not expecting that transition. Let's go back a little. <laughs> That's so good. The duh. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's so funny. <laughs> so hello from the other side. I must have called a thousand times. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, Adele's hello. Uh, funny enough, like some of the songs that are in this polka, other people have parodied. Um, Bad Guy was a Tom Cardi parodied with Sad Boy, I think. And I parodied it. Uh, just the chorus and verse as bad dudes for a video game medley I did recently. Um, love that this is being, you know, hello from the other side as in, like, the ether world. Uh, a ghost coming out of Channel 62, that's a UHF reference. Fantastic. Let's, let's take it back a couple seconds here. Um, so I guess he's trying to contact a girlfriend. Yeah, there's the girl from the photo. 
<laughs> a ghost turning into her head. That's <laughs> the, one of them was a well she was coming out of, like the ring. <laughs> Bilchik wine. That's another U sixty two reference because uh, his his uncle is is uh, last name Bilchik. Yeah. Tear you apart, literally. <laughs> okay, there's there's a reference to, uh, like a surgeon, uh, the second chainsaw sequence we've seen in this video already. Um, this is Miley Cyrus's flowers, obviously. Um, <laughs> there's so much. I the polka is because it's so up tempo, it everything goes by so quickly. That's the white and nerdy video. Wow, this is like referencing other references. This is great. And I guess that's supposed to be Key and Peel in the car. Say things you don't understand. Say things you don't understand with the Devo uh, pastiche, Dare to be Stupid. I can take myself with uh, Eat It. And I can hold my own hand. Amish Paradise. Just, just the Amish Paradise reference at the end there. That's so good. Uh, there's, there's so much greatness in this already. Oh no! Oh no! Is that Bruno? Is that Bruno from uh, Encanto? <laughs> Oh my god. So that's the second polka to contain works by uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda. Uh, obviously Hamilton polka being the first. But uh, I think that's also the first polka to have a Disney song in it. I mean, it was a pop hit. It made it to pop radio, so why not? Um, there's a coffin here from Albuquerque. I think we've moved on to the next section. Olivia Rodrigo's Vampire, which I am currently working on a parody of. <laughs> and also, I think that's the Hasman Hotel. Uh, animator on this one. <laughs> blood sucker, dream crusher, bleeding me dry like a gosh darn vampire. Like a gosh darn vampire. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, the uh, let's take it back here because it was originally the radio edit. Because that, but they don't say gosh darn on the radio edit. Dream crusher. Dream crusher is the radio edit version. The actual studio version, she says, fame effer. Um, so, uh, <laughs> but uh, I, they also bleep goddamn vampire, and it's just a, I think they just bleep god, like a blank damn vampire. Um, I, I listen to pop radio, so I'm, I'm getting all of these. Bleeding me dry like a gosh darn vampire. <laughs> That's almost live action. Yeah, I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. We got little Nas X with Old Town Road. It's about time. This has shown up in a polka. We've we've wanted this in a polka for a while. Many people have parodied this. Um, uh, my buddy, the great Luke Ski, parodied this with Small Round Yoda. Uh, about Grogu in The Mandalorian, the Baby Yoda. Uh, there's been a, a several other parodies of this. I think... I think uh, Devo Spice did a parody of this as well. Um, the the carriage is a, ro is a radio. I This weird dance sequence is... There's so much. There's so much. I'm loving every element of this. I'm loving the, the the how the animation style changes with each... Uh, section, how each section is then done by a different animator or a different filmmaker. Fantastic stuff.
Okay, Al was the cactus <laughs> in the actual live action. Uh, <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. He's all the cacti. He's doing Despacito, and he's doing the original language version as opposed to the usually translated version you would hear on pop radio. He's doing the original version. Uh, that's magnificent. He did that again with uh, 99 Luft Balloons in one of the original par uh, polkas, probably the one from this album. Uh, I think that was in, in that one. It may have been in the one on Dare to be Stupid. I can't remember now. Like I said, there's been a lot of polkas. Um, but uh, that's spectacular to be singing that fast in another language that is not your native language. Bravo. Uh, let's take it back a little bit here. So many, so many owl cacti. <laughs> Spanish to English Dictionary, sexy edition. <laughs> Okay, we've got Ed Sheeran's uh, Shape of You. I think this is a Bill Plimpton animation. Al loves Bill Plimpton and has used him in many things. He animated the entire video for uh, Don't Download This this Song. Uh, <clears throat> choking on my own spit here. Uh, this is phenomenal. This is, like, holy crap. <laughs> we are we are 15 minutes into a four minute song. I know I'm gonna get comments about it. <laughs> Whatever. Shut up. That's what the reaction is. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Some of Bill Plimpton's animations tend to be a little weird and gross sometimes. That he getting kissed on the eye and now a nose, right up there with all his other animations. Right on the butt, the toes. <laughs> the 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 OYOs being sung that particular way in the background, and just Al's jovial voice in a polka style. I'm in love with your body. Just so perfect, so good, man. And then we've moved on to another thing. Let's take it back just a little bit here for this section here. The shapes of the woman become more shapes. Wow! Okay, we've got Uptown Funk from Bruno Mars, but also this particular animation was a fan animator who did uh, fan animated music videos for um, uh, Albuquerque, which is you know one of my favorite Weird Al songs. I was trying to see, remember if they did something other than Albuquerque. They did Albuquerque, and I thought they had done a fan animation for uh, Trapped in the Drive Through, but it may have been something else, and I can't remember what it is now. But I do remember their enormous video for Albuquerque, which is phenomenal. Um, I, for some reason, cannot remember their name. I'm sure there'll be credits, and I will f figure that out. Uh, but yes. Absolutely awesome that a fan animator has now made it into an official Weird Al video. That's great. It took me a minute to realize what song it was. We finally got WAP, W-A-P, Weird Al Polka. He made a tweet about it. He made a tweet about it when WAP came out, that he loves WAP, Weird Al Polka. And I think, I think people were expecting a parody or, or something, a polka or something to come along, and, and we finally have it, folks.
the prophecy has been fulfilled. We're going to take it back a little bit here, because one of the things I love about Al and uh, doing songs that have language in them uh, that isn't usually heard on the radio, he does very clever ways to either sing alternate lyrics or disguise the lyrics with interesting censoring. So, here we go. I want you to park that big Mack truck right in this little garage. Get your mess and whistle. Bring the butt. <laughs> Drip, donkey, cat. <laughs> Maxime Infectum Catus. So, a drip for wet, a donkey for ass, and a pussycat. Uh, again, another song that another contemporary of mine has parodied. Uh, Devo Spice did a song called Wet Ass Pussycat um, about trying to bathe a cat and how scratched up you get. It's a phenomenal song. If you've not heard it, seek it out. It's really, really funny. Um, this is, this is top to bottom glorious. Thank you. Next. Thank you. Next. Thank you. Next. I'm so super grateful for my ex. Thank you. <laughs> that sounds like Tress McNeil. Uh, uh, Tress McNeil. She, uh, she voiced Lucy in Al's Ricky song and also does the, uh, How You Doing Bernie's in... Um, Pretty Fly for a Rabbi, also by Al, and also is, you know, the voice of uh, several characters throughout animation history. I'm pretty sure she's Mrs. Krabappel on uh, The Simpsons. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice a little bit. Uh, so I th that sounds like her. Uh, I I'm pretty sure that's her. Uh, she might not be Mrs. Krabappel. I'm probably going to have to check that. But I know she does dozens of voices everywhere. But this is brilliant. The thank you next with a lever. So good. The last character there. Also, uh, obviously, this is thank you next from Ariana Grande. You next. That looks like Emo Phillips a little. <laughs> you next. And the, the, the headband, the Naruto headband there. Thank you. D takes the cat though. I didn't notice that before. <laughs> Dude has the cat. She goes next, and then she has the cat. <laughs> I was Amish Al. Who was the guy before? Oh no. Uh, I don't know if it's uh. There's a, there's a Sonic the Hedgehog thing there that's yellow uh, that I'm I'm gonna leave there because I I don't know if that's a Pikachu shirt. It looks like it might be a Pikachu shirt. We're just gonna leave that be. Thank you. Next. Thank you. Next. Super duper grateful for my ex. Oh my gosh. We... I say you're too late. <sighs> we have a Weird Al puppet. Dancing to Shake It Off by T-Swizzle. There is there's the Taylor Swift reference, finally. Um, I used to have vans exactly like those, the checkerboard vans. I used to wear vans all the time, mostly because I'm a big Weird Al fan, but also because I liked the shoes. I had a rainbow pair for a while, too. Uh, my pride vans, as it were. Um, and uh, they were rainbow checkered. Um... But uh, I don't wear Vans anymore because they just offer zero arch support. They're skateboarding shoes. They're they're not meant for everyday use. And holy crap, uh, <laughs> I'm old now. I don't wear them anymore. But I still have my Vans. I won a pair of Weird Al Yankovic Vans f during Weird the Al Yankovic thing. I won them from Roku. They are emblazoned with the logo from the movie. Uh, I made a video about that. There's a short somewhere here on my channel about that. Uh, but that puppet is great. I, that's so good. Got in my brain. That's what people say. <laughs> that's what people 
random yetis. <laughs> yes, let's have a shake it off as a as a polka. That's phenomenal. Again, another song that people have parodied. Uh, Steve Goody recently did a parody of that called Shakes Her Off about how the ice cream machine at McDonald's that never works. And I did it did a parody of this song back in 2014 as well, when Al's last album came out, uh, on my previous album with a concept album called Internet Famous about uh, turning off pop culture called Turn It Off. Um, it's not my best parody, I'll be honest. Uh, <laughs> I was like running out of, I was like, I need one more parody for the album. And that was the last one I did. Um, not my best work, I'll fully admit that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> now we're switching styles from, from puppets to, to the animation. Uh, looks like similar animation from the beginning. Oh, instead of popping the balloon, pops his head. There's just the bone there. Great. Shake it off, shake it off. Uh, his head went... <laughs> Okay, so here's a bunch of artists that didn't make it into the thing, I guess, because they're Sia. Um, I don't really recognize everybody else, and that might be for the best, because it's disturbing. It's obviously Al is all of these people. Um, uh, <laughs> just uh, ending with the great standard style Al ending of the polka there. Slides in with Travis Kelsey. <laughs> and there's Billie Eilish on the banjo. That is phenomenal. There's only two seconds left, so I guess there's not credits, but there's probably credits on the video itself. Holy crap, that was magnificent. As great a now polka as ever there were. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I really, really enjoyed that. If you did, please go check out the video. Link is in the description box below. You'll get to see it without me yammering all over it. If you did like this video, though, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, my music and comedy early, get your name in the credits over here like that, exclusive things like exclusive reactions, I'm going through a lot of Weird Al songs actually, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, we'll see you next time everybody, thanks, bye. I'm now going to go listen to this 27 more times. I think we make a left at the light There should be a big B Assuming this map is right Sean looked over and he said Hey, no, it's not